This is the next step in UNCHIA's Fast Track Cash system. In this step, step number seven, you are going to learn how to start creating a video using a free presentation software. For this next video, we are going to actually create a presentation using the same exact review information that we've already put together. We're actually going to be creating a PowerPoint presentation using a free software program called Open Office. Open Office is free. It works just like Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you have Microsoft PowerPoint, you could just use that solution. So we're just going to go to Open Office inside of Google and I'm going to just show you what it looks like so you know how to download it. Inside OpenOffice.org, just choose I want to download OpenOffice and simply choose Download Now. Download Now. Once you download OpenOffice, basically you just install it just like any other program on your computer. So we're going to go pull up our version of OpenOffice. Now over here, you're going to see OpenOffice.org once you have it installed. You want to look for OpenOffice.org Impress. OpenOffice.org Impress. And again, if you are using a computer that has Microsoft Office installed on it already, you can get by just fine using Microsoft Office. I'm just going over OpenOffice just because it is a free solution. It does not cost you anything and will accomplish a very similar thing for you. So let's just open up OpenOffice here. Okay, and then once you get inside here, it's going to ask you, do you want to do an empty presentation from a template or open an existing presentation? So it's best if you can just choose from a template. And then it's going to give you just some different options here to go with. And then you could actually just pick a template. and that one looks good and then you could actually just say original size and then just click next for slide transition you could choose if you would like one random transition is good select the presentation type default will be just fine and then choose next and then it's going to ask you what is the name of your or the name of your company. So you could put in your name here, what is the subject of your presentation, and then further ideas to be presented. You don't have to do that step, but you could. Then you could choose create your pages and just take out these. These are part of the template. and then simply choose create okay now what you see inside here is basically the template here that we have to work with here this is open office again that we are working with okay so let me just bring this in here you're inside here this is the template and where it says introducing a new product, obviously you could just plug in this information, the name of the product you are promoting. Discover. Okay. What we're creating this for is because we're actually going to be using this to create an online video to further promote the affiliate link. So the first step again is to use a quick presentation that you are going to be creating. Now what you want to do here is insert a new slide. So just choose new slide. It's going to ask you to click to add title. So we'll just keep the title as opt-in profits review which in your case might be fast track cash review or the name of the product that you are out there promoting 
So now where it says to add text, this is where we're basically going to be taking information from the reviews that we've already put together. So I'm just going to grab a couple lines and copy them. Where it says click to add text, we're just going to paste those in there. And then you could write justify it by just suggesting that option there. And then basically you're just putting this into nice clean presentation type format. Okay, so I've just gone through and just, you know, highlighted certain things and just basically was able to move things around. You can just use your backspace key or delete key just like you were using like Microsoft Word. So notice how I've just kind of spaced things out so they're in a nice paragraph form. Then I right click and I just choose new slide. And for clicking to add title here, let's just put in the name of the product again. Now what I'm going to do is go right back here and we're going to grab a couple more lines to work with. Okay, so that's going to come through. That looks like pretty quite a bit of content. So let's just take out that second line and leave it at this first line here. So again, you're just kind of going through here, reading through that, and then spacing things out so it looks good on here. Then when you're done, just right click and choose new slide. Come back up here. And again, it's very simple because you're just copying and pasting the content that you've already produced. You're just repurposing those this uh, review content into usable content that's actually going to be used for marketing purposes in a video. So all you're doing is just simply repurposing content that you've already spent time creating. Okay, next thing you want to do is just create another slide until you get to the end of the review. Now you could create a couple different videos out of this if you really wanted to. Obviously, since you have a couple reviews that you have created. So you could you don't have to do this twice, but it would actually help you generate a little more exposure and possible traffic. Okay. And then over here on the final slide, what you want to do is put a call to action. So for more visit and then you could put a link to your blogger blog, a link to your Squidoo page or really any kind of link that you think would be easy for people to remember. Typically it's going to be the wet paint page that you actually created because the Squidoo URL is fairly long but the wet paint leak would probably be the best one. Okay, and then what you're going to do next is you could highlight that and make it bolder if you wanted to make it stand out. And you can make it slightly bigger. And then the next thing you want to do is just save this. And just save it as opt-in profits review. Okay, so we're just going to save it here. And you could save it in PowerPoint format if you want to, or you could just save it in .odp. So I'm just going to save it in PowerPoint format. Okay. 
So now you're all set to go on to the next step. So now you've created your presentation. So we can go to the next step, which is going to involve recording the presentation using a program called Cam Studio.